Hey Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising in this cross-watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what you can expect from this connection and from your romantic energy. So for those of you that are romantically involved with someone, whether you're in a partnership or relationship, or even if you guys are just like loosely involved, we'll see what the cards predict for you in this connection. So whether it's going to go far, whether it's going to go the distance, whether it's going to, whether it's going to hit a roadblock, what you might need to know. Um, we'll also be using the Angel Answers Oracle cards just to see what guidance or what messages the angels can provide you with. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list the email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what you can expect from this connection. So I just want to mention once again that this reading here is involved for, is um, intended for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, you've got the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Sun, the Strength, the Nine of Swords here. Last card, the Four of Swords. Okay. Okay, a lot of resistance within the energies, okay? Something you want to happen isn't happening, okay? You want this person to communicate, they're not. You want things to unfold the way you want it to, it's not really unfolding in that way. You want something to manifest, it's not really manifesting. So there's some resistance here. So either your energy that you're involved with is putting up a lot of resistance, or maybe you are, okay? There could be also a third party that is sort of like opposing, like an influence, an energy that is influencing the connection negatively or opposing the connection, okay? It could be like a jealous ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. It could be a pet, like a parent. I feel like there's something here that might oppose the connection, sadly. Now, the two of ones for a lot of you, I feel like, you know, you want progression. You want forward movement. You want... Um, momentum to pick up okay you want progress for a lot of you so the connection may be a little bit stagnated and some of you i feel like you have a like you guys maybe have developed a lot of plans for the for the connection for the future but it may not be happening okay something may be stalling or stagnating those plans or you may feel as though there's not enough momentum around this energy here so I can see that someone is or maybe the both of you are quite optimistic and quite hopeful but i also feel like there's a lot of setbacks a lot of challenges or a lot of like opposing influences or there's a strong energy of resistance so sometimes we can want things that we're not ready for i mean at that point in time we don't know that we're not ready for these things but because we're so desirous of those things that we think we're ready for it and then it that thing or you know that thing that we want it doesn't particularly manifest and we wonder why we wonder why Okay, but the universe knows we're not ready for it. This is why something doesn't manifest for us when we think we need it the most. Okay, um, and then we're left wondering why. The universe knows. So, just because you want something, it doesn't necessarily mean you're ready for it. Or it might mean you're ready for it, but your person might not be. I feel like there's some resistance. And whatever this resistance is that's coming up or that will be showing up in your life, I feel like is there for a reason. It's there for a purpose. It serves a purpose. Nothing is not random. Like, nothing is just, you know, by chance, by coincidence. It's all purposeful. So, if something is stalling or stagnating here, it's happening for a reason. You might need to take a closer look at your emotions or your connections or whether the, the both of you are ready. Because there's a lot of plans, okay? There's a lot of plans, but... There's an energy of, you know, you want them to propose to you or want, you want them to make things official to you or you want things to move forward or maybe this is how they're feeling about you here. Because someone here has been doing a lot of planning, a lot of, um, there's so much intentionality and just so much planning and hoping and wishing, but, and they're looking towards the future. So this is someone who sees a future with you. This is someone who, you know, and whom you see a future with and you want this person in your, in your world, but there's... Just when you think, you know, things are working out, something comes up. It's coming up for a reason. So maybe the fact that things are stalling tells you that this person is not ready, okay? So if they're stalling or stagnating things, maybe there's a lack of readiness. And maybe they're not comfortable telling you in words, so they tell you in actions. Whatever it is, there is a strong energy of resistance, okay? And in life, in life it's always better to take the path of least resistance. But we need to find out what is it that is coming up as... Like, what is it that's being so strongly resisted here? Because look, 
Okay, it's I do feel like right now, by the way, guys, with the two of wands, right now is a really good time. Like whenever it pops up, because I feel like this card is all about planning and you know thinking ahead, but it's actually a really good time to take action. So if you've actually been thinking about um, you know wanting to call this person or message or reach out, do that. Or if you you've been wanting to talk to this person about certain some things, do that as well. So this is a card about taking action and not stalling things as well. Okay. Um, the Sun card, I feel like you may be dealing with someone who is a little bit more emotionally, like this person could be a little bit like childlike or could be prone to childlike predispositions. They can be, they can come up sometimes as a little bit like emotionally mature or juvenile. They could have children around them and maybe that's why it's so hard for them to follow through with things because not only do they have to consider your and their future as well, but the future of the child as well. This is someone whom you could be wanting children with or you might potentially have children with this person. But children is definitely coming up very strongly in their energies as well as yours. Um, this is, I feel like, this is a connection that has a lot of growth, okay? And this person is, it's almost like they're like, in an illumination, a radiating light in your life. So they're going to bring a lot of light, okay, a lot of lightness into your world. They're going to illuminate a lot of things in your life. Um, I feel like this is someone who is going to be, I mean, this person is going to provide you with a lot of beautiful memories, okay. You'll, you'll create some very memorable memories with this person. This is someone whom you're going to grow with, you're going to spend a lot of time with. Um, there's a lot of growth, prosperity, abundance, um, a lot of emotional experiences around this person, around this energy here. For some of you, you might actually have a child first before you get married. Children is coming up very strongly. Or this is someone who does have children. Or you might have children, actually. For some of you, you might be having, you might have had children from a previous marriage. And I feel like you will be, they, you will be introducing your children to this energy very soon. But look, there's a lot of growth. For a lot of you, I also feel like there's a lot of traveling involved with this person. And for some of you, you might be meeting this person or you have met this person whilst you're, you know, out on your travels, whether for work or leisure purposes. Or maybe this person is like a, they come from a foreign background to you. Like they, so they may be living in your country, but like on a working or a holiday visa. Um, a lot of travel. It could be from somewhere where it's very hot and humid, like it's almost desert-like. Middle East is coming up strongly, or even like the tropics here, um, Islander. But I feel like this person is going to... I'm also seeing that there's something significant that's going to happen on one of your travels. Maybe this is where they might propose to you, or what, maybe this is the moment where you realize you're falling in love with them, or they've realized they're falling in love with you. Now, there is definitely something about this connection that is going to throw in your peace of mind, okay? Something about this connection that, because there's something that's weighing you down, okay? Um, and it's either weighing you down or your romantic energy. So there's definitely a need for you to be strong here. There's going to be setbacks or obstacles or challenges. Maybe the two of you have two very different communication styles. Maybe you find that, you, you know, this person has a hard time opening up to you. Um, there's also something that I feel like someone could be hiding something and not opening up. And it's really like eating this person up okay so it could be like this person has feelings of guilt regret or shame or maybe this person has hurt you and the fact that they've said something that might have hurt you is also hurting them it's just an energy that really weighs them down that really threatens their peace of mind you could be going through a separation here there may be you know times where the two of you just you're not communicating and that's going to be really hard on you and really hard on them too so I mean, you both have this strength and this resilience about you to persevere. And I feel like if your connection can withstand the storms and can withstand these obstacles, I do feel like it's only strengthening you as an individual and as a couple. So there is something very, I feel like you're going to have to really be strong, okay? If you, if the two of you, strong for one another, for each other and for yourselves, if you really want this to work and strong for the connection here, okay? And just... Just remember that whatever setbacks or challenges that do come your way, essentially they're strengthening you. They are not weakening you, I promise you. They're only strengthening you and preparing you, you know, for what lies ahead here. So whoever this person is, I feel like if there is something you want to share with them, see if you guys can create a safe space where you can just, you know, talk with one another just openly without having to feel like you're being judged. Because someone here, I feel like, wants to get something off their, off their back, off their chest rather, but... 
they're, they're not sure how to come forward or they feel guilty saying it or there's feelings of shame. There's something that's weighing this person down here. Now, because of the sword's energy as well, it's like a sword's a weapon, right? They can be used for mass destruction. So, yes, this person is going to hurt you. Or maybe you're going to hurt each other a lot, okay? But you, you guys love each other or you guys really care for one another, okay? Um, I'm seeing that there is going to be periods in this connection where you guys are not talking to one another. And the fact that you're both not talking to one another, I feel like is hurting you both, okay? This person is having a hard time dealing with silent treatment. Um, this person feels really hurt and wounded. This person is just having a hard time coping with it all, okay? So if you guys can create that safe space where you can just truly talk to one another instead of just giving each other silent treatment, I feel like it will definitely, you know, you guys will definitely benefit from this. But I do feel like you, there's things that you might say to each other or do to each other that might be really hurtful or might resurface some very painful memories. But, and I don't think you guys mean to hurt each other, but I just feel like there's something about this connection that is going to push you. You're actually going to push each other outside of your comfort zone. But again, I feel like, you know, it's only strengthening you, okay? And at the end of the day, it's not going to weaken you. It's strengthening you as an individual. It's strengthening you as a couple. So if you guys can withstand all these obstacles that come your way here, I do feel like this, this is a connection that's going to go the distance. So just a few more cards here to see what the angels are whispering for you here. Okay, so you've got success here success so once again if the two of you can find a way to you know get through these hurdles i do feel like this is going to be a successful relationship a successful connection okay look for a sign and yes okay so if you've had a question in mind as i was doing the reading the answer is yes um look for a sign okay so for some of you if you're having doubts reservations anxieties about this connection look for a sign the universe, your um, angel guides are always communicating with you. Sometimes we're just not open or receptive to receiving these messages. So look for a sign because there are signs around you here that are trying to tell you something about this connection or about this particular energy. Okay, some of you, all you have to do is look for a sign and then see the sign. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking or um, sharing or commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye.